What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. <sighs> um, it's been a crazy couple weeks. I think that's kind of an understatement considering all the um, shit that's been going on as far as um, this election is concerned. Uh, I kind of want to do this video to um, get shit off my chest. And um, for those leaving me messages about um, certain albums coming out, I had an issue with um, undergroundhiphop.com. Um, I, I ordered a bunch of CDs. They should have been here, I think, maybe last week sometime. But um, one of the CDs, the restocks, um, they didn't have so they held my order and um they sent the stuff out i got it today finally so i will be doing some reviews like la coca nostra czar face um hopefully i get around to that shit um the end of the year is coming up so just be patient with me and uh, i'll try to get those out to you but um back to this election shit um a lot of people have been asking me what who i was voting for who i was feeling for this election and i kind of didn't want to um, make a whole video on that shit I've done it before in the past um, but I kind of wanted to avoid it because uh, this one was kind of a touchy election um, but I feel a little bit more open about it now so I want to um, address a few things because um, society is just the uh, society right here in America is just acting fucking retarded if you ask me i mean society's always been fucking stupid but now we're just on super stupid um it should come as no surprise to you that um i'm a trump supporter and um <clears throat> you know i guess you know between the two you know uh I, i'm leaning more towards trump um for various reasons um i'll just give you two because i'm not going to um dwell on my multiple reasons i don't want to argue with a bunch of people but um uh first and second amendment alone uh that that speaks volumes uh to me and uh i think uh hillary would have been a detriment to those two um, especially the people that follow hillary when it comes down to freedom of speech and gun control i'm i'm uh, I'm a big believer in the uh, freedom of speech and the right to bear arms. So um, that 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 those are just two reasons why I, I kind of was leaning towards that. And um, what I really want to talk about is uh, the reason why Trump won. Okay, or one of the many reasons why Trump won. But this is a solid reason why. Um, some of you may know uh, who I'm about to shout out here. There's two YouTube channels that that posted videos that um, sort of echo how I felt. Um, some of you might know that uh, channel, Some Black Guy. Great channel, love his contact. A content excuse me if you're watching this brother you make some good fucking videos I love your videos um, and this dude that I'm about to mention he's kind of bigger um, his video on this subject went very viral a dude by the name of Jonathan Pye and um, his video was uh, titled uh, Trump how and why and um, some black guy made a video, I believe it was called uh, Trump Election and the Salty Aftermath, something along those lines. I know it was Salty Aftermath, um, but both of these dudes, what they were saying, it just resonated with me. It made so much sense. Um, 
in a nutshell, what they were saying was the left created the atmosphere for Trump to win. Um, they were saying that, you know, um, what the left is good at is if you're honest about wanting to vote for this guy, wanting to vote for Trump over Hillary, instead of coming to you with, you know, trying to find out why you um, fuck with Trump or what your reasoning is, what they'll do is they'll they'll throw insults at you. They're going to call you automatically a racist, a bigot, um, a, you know, a misogynist, a homophobe. They'll call you all everything under the sun except the child of God. They, that's what they're going to do. And they, they don't care about your reasoning at all. They don't even care if you disagree with Trump on certain things, but you resonate with him on just maybe one or two things that you feel strongly about. They don't care about that bullshit. So um, what they did was they created an atmosphere where people couldn't tell you the truth. People uh, couldn't uh, come to you and be honest. So when people will come up to you and ask, you know, like you get that stupid fucking uh, uh, question, do black lives matter? And you have other people saying, who are you voting for? You know, are you voting for Hillary? You know, and people will just say, yeah, you know, I'm voting for Hillary or I'm not going to vote because they don't want to deal with the whole name calling and all that bullshit. They don't want to deal with that shit. So what they did was they jump in the booth and either because they were either going to vote for Trump in the first place or just out of spite, they voted for Trump. And um, granted, Hillary won the, uh, what was it, the popular vote, but you have a lot of absentee ballots and, and other votes that weren't counted. I'm not sure if uh, Michigan or what other state wasn't counted, um, but overall, she, what was put out there was that she won the popular vote. Um, but on the uh, electoral vote, which is uh, done by the Electoral College, Trump won. He kicked her ass. And, um, you know, everybody was surprised either horribly or pleasantly. I was pleasantly surprised because, you know, that's who I would want out of the two. Um, and um, basically what these guys are saying is something that I've been saying in my videos. Other brothers have been saying in their videos on YouTube. You know, a lot of y'all got to learn how to present your argument without being fucking emotional without just labeling people without saying well you're this you're you're your house nigga your uncle tom i mean it you don't even want to hear the reasons or present your argument and say okay maybe maybe if i present it in a certain way i could kind of show him the light according to you um you just respond emotionally you have no logic at all it's just like kids on a fucking playground have better logic than some of y'all. I mean, look look at this look at this fucking aftermath. Look at what's going on now. You have people protesting and this and that. Um, they're mad. Uh, people not going to college classes. Parents taking their kids out of school, all because of this dude winning the election based off the electoral college, which. Which, th this is old. This is old news that the Electoral College is the vote that counts, okay? And um, this has happened prior, you know, uh, but, you know, people are just going fucking ape shit. People are going fucking crazy. Uh, you have some of these assholes saying that they need therapy. They need therapy because uh, Trump is in the White House now. Trump won. And... It, it, it's just the fucking stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean, I, I haven't heard anybody that was bashing Obama uh, turn around when he won and said, well, I need therapy because Obama's in the, in the White House. I, I've never heard such a thing. I think it's the dumbest thing. I, I, I believe that a lot of y'all are coming off like sore fucking losers, especially... Uh, you leftists because you leftists are supposed to be you promote this progression and uh, and and um and peace and all this shit but you're going out 
you're blocking people's traffic you're you're you're, you're creating chaos um and then you look at the stats for some of these people that are out there protesting 70 i think it's 70 percent of them were either unregistered and or didn't vote at all so i mean it, that's the you have no dog in the race you can't fucking complain it's just like if someone won the lottery and i don't like the dude and I, why would i complain if i didn't buy a lottery ticket you know what I mean? Like, I can have an opinion because opinions are like assholes. Everybody fucking got them. But, it, it, you know, people are always going to have their opinions. But it, it's just it's just worthless at that point. You didn't do anything to to spark any change. You know, you, you have no dog in the race. Don't fucking complain. Don't fucking... I, I could think of fucking 300 billion other things that I'd rather be doing than sitting out in the cold and going out on a highway and blocking traffic. I mean, one of these hoes got hit by a car and it serves her right. Good for her. I don't feel fucking bad. Go get laid. Go fucking go to work. You know what I mean? I'd rather watch fucking paint dry than sit out there and fucking protest. I mean, nobody in the history of of this fucking nation w was sitting around, running around, protesting, and, 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 you know, blocking traffic, going to therapy. That's the one that gets me. I have to go to therapy because someone I can't stand is running the White House, which you probably will have no interaction with. You have better, you're going to have better interaction with your local government. Those are the ones that you can touch, that you can get to if you want to invoke some change within your community. But people just, y'all are fucking crybabies, plain and simple. Um, you even had um, one of these black women sat and kicked her son, her eight-year-old son, out of her fucking house because there was a mock election. And this poor little kid, you know, he's eight. He doesn't understand politics or whatever. He voted Trump. And somehow it got back to to um, the house, and this bitch kicks her son outside the house and records the whole thing. Records it. That how narcissistic of this hoe, you know what I mean? And um, it just <laughs> people are fucking stupid. See, when I say these things, people say that I'm such a bad person, that I'm um, angry as fuck. But it's y'all. Y'all are fucking stupid. Y'all do dumbass shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are fucking dumb. Um, more on the left. Uh, what else do I got to say? Okay. Uh, my whole thing is this. Like I said, this has happened before. And um, people of sound mind are just going to say, look, all right, I lost. This is who I wanted. I got this. I'm going to make the best of who I got and move on with my fucking life. Now, even some people that have that that have that have leftist ideology or practice that left shit, i.e. T.I. and Oprah Winfrey, two recent examples that basically said that. They said, you know what? Okay. In T.I.'s example, he said, look, we got to move on and we got to concentrate. Uh, we'll make the best of our situation but let's concentrate on local governments because that could affect, that in turn is what affects the community. You have people turning their backs on him now. Um, there's a video on TMZ that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Oprah Winfrey said that, you know, um, I, I see Donald Trump, you know, um, I was against him, but okay, it seems like he's taking it seriously. Let's see what he can do. We need to take a deep breath and just, just calm down and see what, what's going to happen. People are starting to attack her. I mean, <laughs> you people cease to fucking amaze me. You know, um, this, it, and, and this should just serve you guys that have this, that practice this leftist ideology. This should serve you right. Because it, it's just never ending with y'all. Y'all just don't want to say, okay, um, let's just make the best of this situation like we've done in the past. Now, <clears throat> the 
there's some people that I like that, you know, they have dissenting opinions, you know, in real life. Um, even on YouTube, for example, my man, um, I always shout him out, love him to death, my man Mike C. Town from Dead End Hip Hop. Um, Dead End Hip Hop did a video regarding this whole shit. And um, obviously, now if you're watching this video, you know that, um, or if you watch theirs and now watching this, you know that we have dissenting opinions. And that's fine, that should be healthy. I'm not, I, I don't hate none of them. They're still cool as fuck to me. Um, we just have different ideologies, which should be fine. But, um, <clears throat> I was watching the, the part one of their video and right in the beginning, uh, Mike C. Town was there and he was saying something that initially I just disagreed with um, where he said, you should just continue to complain and bitch and whine. And then I listened further and he said, you should organize and complain and bitch and whine. And that's the part that you motherfuckers will never get. This is where you always fall because I will give you the argument that um, the popular vote should count. I will give you that because what is the point of us going out and wasting our time and doing all that shit if the electoral college is going to do whatever the fuck they want? You know what I mean? And I've always wondered this as a as a little kid growing up because you know when you're in social studies you learn about the electoral college and all that shit. Um, so. Um, and by the way, I hope y'all like the glasses. Nothing's wrong with my eyes. These are just, you know, for style or whatever. But um, y'all have a legitimate gripe there. I will give you that. I will give that to you. But y'all ain't organized. Y'all are coming off like fucking whiny little brats. Spoil sports. Sore losers. That's how y'all are coming off. You know, if if you, you guys were organized and... Um, got to your your delegates within your own community and push this shit up because there's a chain of command there's ranking to this shit you can't just run up in the white house and do whatever the fuck you want maybe you might get someplace but you know standing in the fucking traffic um blocking people from going to work um because you got nothing better to do is not a good look people ain't gonna take you seriously i fucking don't take y'all seriously i mean and um yeah, I just, I just want to get all this shit off my chest. I mean, a lot of y'all really, 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 really got to grow up, okay? Um, again, this is how I feel at this point. Let's just, let's just see what happens. This dude, let him sit in the fucking Oval Office at least. This is the same shit I was telling certain people off, uh, offline, I mean offline, in real life when Obama was in and people were being um, um, critical of him. I said, all right, well, give the dude a chance at least, you know, but obviously you see where the fuck that went. Um, but, you know, give the dude a chance. Same thing with, with Trump. You don't know what the fuck he's going to do. Let him get in there and uh, do what he does or, you know, let him get his delegates, let him get certain shit in order before you start criticizing him. And um, yeah, that's that's all I really want to say. Um, shout out to some black guy. Shout out to um, Jonathan Pye. Shout out to Dead End Hip Hop, Mike C. Town. Y'all know what it is. Um, just want to get this off my chest real quick. Just my thoughts. Um, Y'all dudes on the left, um, Y'all gotta re-strategize, re, uh, rethink how you, you know, present yourself. That, that's all I gotta say, man. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.